Mike hits the home run after 9-11 and, and John, I have to imagine it feels so personal to you given all of your connections to the city and to what happened on 9-11 to be a part of the recovery, not just in the ways that you were literally helping, but in the way that you were a distraction and you were able to take the field as a New York Met to give people a couple hours off. I think for that three hours and the game was like kind of, the crowd was into it, but not really, you know, they're just happy to be there. I think just sort of forget about what happened. And I think when Mike hit that home run, it just, uh, you could feel the whole deep breath of air come out of everybody. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm talking about it now, the hair stands up on my arm because that home run was, was really something special for the city and for the guys on that team, because we wanted to win so bad. And I think the Braves wanted us to win also. John, you brought up uh, Barry Bonds. Uh, 41 plate appearances against you. He had 216 with no home runs. Take us through. How, how do you Believe it, Andy. Oh. Believe it. <laughs> yeah, how about that? How do you get Barry Bonds out? And what in the world did the rest of the league not understand that you did about this guy? If they'd only listened to you, there would have been no Barry Bonds. <laughs> Basically, what I used to do with Barry, I used to run – you know, he was right on the plate. So I used to try to run two seamers in on him, on his hands, not let him extend his hands, and try to keep the ball away. You know, Barry got his fair share of hits against me, a couple of hits here and there, but uh, I wasn't going to give in to him and let him uh, uh, hit a home run off me. The one thing that I remember in the 2000 series was I talked to John Oldrude before Todd got to be our first baseman, and I told John Oldrude, who was a left-handed hitter, one of the top left-handed hitters in baseball, and I asked him, what was the hardest pitch for him to hit? against a lefty and he told me a changeup because lefties never throw it to lefties and for some reason that was the only time I threw Barry Bonds a changeup was a 3-2 count in the, the, the 2000 World Series. Mike was calling fastball and I remember the pitch before that Barry just missed a fastball and he fouled straight back and there was no way in hell I was going to throw a 3-2 fastball so I was shaking Mike off left and right and finally he put the changeup sign down and I kind of froze him on that because Barry never saw that from me. This is something that's like been a personal thing of mine. Give me your take on the black jerseys. Alonzo says that they, uh, they should c come back. I love the black jerseys. I've been very vocal about that. Where do you stand on the Mets wearing the black jerseys? Did you like it? And do you think they ought to have them back? I like the black jerseys. Uh, I'm more of a traditionist. I, I, you know, I grew up with the, 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 the uniforms the way they were, the white with the stripes, the blue stripes. But uh, – and then sometimes change is good. You know, the black ones were fine. I, I like the black ones. I, so I can go either way with it. If you push, push me against the wall and say, which one? I would have to be the traditional guy. So which, which one of the traditional, really quick? Which I like the, I just look like the home unis with the stripes, the little, pin, you know, the pinstripes. stripes on them. Yeah, the pinstripes. Those are, those, are, those are the ones I like.